High Commission used the forum to educate the audience on the new online passport application procedure. The presentation was done by Filippo Sangri of Eagle Media House Limited, a private UK-based media company who developed the online application system. The Ghana High Commission website, for those who don't know, is ghanahighcommissionuk.com. So if you ever forget, just remember Ghana High Commission and remember where you are, you're in the UK, and just comment. And when you go to the home page, you can see boldly our beautiful passport um, design on the front cover. All you just have to do is just click on that uh, passport on the front cover, on the home page. And you have three forms coming up to you. you have, if you're a first passport application, if you're looking for renewing your passport application, or if you've lost, damaged, or misplaced intentionally or unfortunately that's the section that you can look at now it's as easy as just clicking on the first if you're looking at the first passport application just double click on that one and you'll just ask three simple questions the first is your surname the first name and then your date of birth so I'll go on then we're live online so I can go on then just fill in So as you can see, I've ended my, um, my surname and my first name, and that's I was born on the 6th of March, 1957. Now, for security reason, because we have what we call spam, people can actually go online and fill out application forms, um, other electronic devices online, tend to fill stuff online for people so we need an identification to show that it's actually being filled by somebody behind the computer so if you go to the section which says data verification it's just simple type in what you see uh, we've had um, uh, comments from people who are trying to download the form and said it wasn't working the reason is if you don't type in the data verification it won't work so you just have to type in what you see it's case sensitive so if you see it in lower caps Please do it in lower caps. Now, now, basically, when you submit that, the High Commission received a copy of the information you've um, sent to them. And then all you then do is that you click on the download form, and there comes your passport application form. So what you find on there is you find your surname already printed on the form with your first name and your date of birth. Now, please, one of the things that you have to note is that if you know that's not your date of birth, don't put it on there. Because if you go to the High Commission, they will verify with your document that you're presenting. If the names in your passport or your birth certificate is not the same as what is on the screen, please make sure that you tally the information that you submit with what's on the form. And then obviously, they, what you then do is that once you've got this form, all you do is you print it. At the top of the page, there's a print this page, and all you have to do is just print that, and you've got your passport application form to submit to the um, High Commission. So now, this is a 24-hour service, which means that you don't have to wait for the High Commission to open uh, between 8, uh, 9, and 1 o'clock to pick up a form. At midnight, you can take your time, fill out your forms, and submit to the High Commission at your convenience. 